more on MS Paint. Microsoft Paint, popularly called as MS Paint or Paint, is a program that helps you to create and edit your drawings. There are many features of Paint that can help you make drawings more beautiful and attractive. Features of MS Paint The main features of MS Paint are It is used for drawing and sketching. It has pencil, brush and airbrush tools. It enables painting by dragging the mouse. It has the ability to add text, lines and shapes. It has an eraser, magnifier and fill color tools. It is also used for editing images clicked from camera or mobile. Opening Paint Window You can open paint in many ways, through Start Menu or through a shortcut on your desktop. To open paint through Start Menu, click on Start button. The Start Menu will appear. Click on All Programs, then Accessories and from here select Paint. The MS Paint window will appear. Components of MS Paint window Paint window has a title bar, ribbon, canvas, scroll bars and status bar. Title bar Title bar has a quick access toolbar, the document name with minimize, maximize and close buttons. Quick Access Toolbar or QAT QAT has shortcut icons for most used options like Undo, Redo, New and Save. Document Name This specifies the name of the picture in which you are working. By default, the name is Untitled. Minimize This button reduces the paint window to a taskbar icon. On clicking the taskbar icon, paint window is restored to its previous size. Maximize or restore down. This button expands or restores down the paint window to full screen or restore down. Close. This button closes the paint window. Ribbon. The ribbon has three parts, tabs, groups and commands. The two tabs are Home and View. Each tab is divided into groups of commonly used commands. Canvas. It is the drawing area of the paint window where we can draw images. Scroll bars. Paint window has two scroll bars, horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar to move through the canvas of a large drawing horizontally or vertically. Paint Tools Paint has many tools to help you draw and edit your drawing. You can find Paint Tools in the Tools group of Home tab. Fill with Color Tool Fill with Color Tool is used to color your drawings. There are two color options, Color 1 and Color 2. To change Color 1 or Color 2, Click the color 1 or color 2 and then choose a color from the color palette. The respective color 1 or color 2 will change. Here color 1 is set to brown and color 2 to green. To fill color 1, move the mouse pointer to canvas area, click left mouse button and to fill color 2, click right mouse button. Text tool Text tool is used to write text in your drawings. To write text on the canvas, click text tool from the tools group. Then move the mouse pointer to canvas area. The shape of the pointer will change to a vertical line or cursor. Click on the canvas where you want to write text. A rectangle box will appear. Now you can start typing from the keyboard. You can label this drawing as mountains. You will see that the color of the text is brown as color 1 is brown. Magnifier tool 
Magnifier tool helps you to magnify or zoom a section of your drawing so that you can fine tune your drawing. To magnify a particular portion of your drawing, click on Magnifier tool. Move to the canvas area. The mouse pointer will become a magnifying glass. Click on the area of the canvas that you want to get zoomed. The portion of canvas will get magnified. Color Picker Tool Color Picker Tool looks like a dropper. It allows you to pick a color from anywhere on the canvas and use it in your drawing. You do not need to select the color from the color palette. To use Color Picker Tool, click Color Picker Tool from Tools group of Home tab. Move the mouse to the canvas. The mouse pointer will change shape to a dropper. Now, Pick the color of your choice from the picker tool by clicking the mouse. The mouse pointer will now change to fill with color tool. Move the mouse pointer to the place where you want to fill this color. Now click the left mouse button. The picked up color will be filled here. We have changed the green mountain to brown and made all mountains brown. Shape tools you can use the pencil tool for freehand drawing. But drawing figures like a circle or rectangle can be quite difficult. To solve this problem, MS Paint provides you with tools to draw certain shapes by using shape tools. Various shapes like oval, rectangle and triangle are available in the shapes group of home tab. Oval tool Oval is like a circle which is wider in one direction than the other. You can use oval shape tool to draw oval as well as circles in your drawing. Let us see how oval shape tool is used to draw different shapes. Let us design a smiley. Click on oval tool in the shapes group. Select any color of your choice from the color palette. Click the mouse and drag it across the canvas to draw a big oval for the face. Inside this circle, click the mouse and drag it downwards to draw an oval for eye. Repeat the step to draw the other eye. Now click the mouse and drag it sideways to draw an oval for mouth. Your smiley is ready. Select tool. Sometimes you may want to delete, move, or copy a part of your drawing. For this, first you have to select the portion of the drawing and then you can perform copy, delete or move operations. The select tool in the image group is used to select a part or whole of the drawing. Clicking on the arrow below the select tool opens a menu of options. There are two types of selection tools, rectangular selection and free form selection. Rectangular selection tool. Use this tool when you want to select the image or part of image in a rectangular form. To use this tool, first open any image or drawing in paint. Then click the rectangular selection tool. Now place your mouse at the top left corner of the portion you want to select. Then Click and drag the mouse till the desired area is selected. A dotted rectangle will highlight the selected area. Release the mouse button. Take your mouse within the dotted rectangle. Click and drag the portion to a new place. This is also called moving in the drawing. Now click anywhere else on the canvas to confirm the move. In this image, let us make some changes to the hut. Suppose you want to move the rectangular window from base to the rooftop. How can you do this without erasing and redrawing the whole thing? Use the rectangular selection tool to select, click, drag and drop the window. Free form selection tool. What if you need to select part of the image in irregular shape? 
then you can use free form selection tool for this. To use this tool, open any image or drawing in paint. Now select the free form selection tool. Place your mouse near the portion you want to select. Click and drag the mouse to draw a closed figure around the desired area. Release the mouse. A dotted rectangle will highlight the selected area. Take your mouse within the dotted rectangle, click and drag it to a new place. In the drawing, you can now try moving the entrance gate of the hut to left side by using this tool. Copying and moving an object. Paint allows you to copy or move parts of your drawing. The cut, copy and paste options in paint can be found in the clipboard group of home tab. Copying. We can select an object in the drawing by using selection tools. To make a duplicate copy of a selected portion of our drawing, the first step is to select the object using selection tool. Next, click on home tab and click on copy option of clipboard group. The selected image will be copied to clipboard. Now click on paste option of clipboard group. A copy of the object will appear on the top left corner of your drawing. Click and drag this new object to the area where you want to place it. You can also resize the image by dragging the dotted rectangle from small circles. Click on paste again to get a second copy of object. Move it to the place wherever you want. Repeat the steps to get many copies of the objects on your drawing. Now we can apply these steps to our picture. Let us try to copy our hut and make multiple huts on the canvas. We will copy paste huts and resize accordingly. Flipping the picture Quite often we want to rotate our drawing horizontally or vertically. This is called flipping an image. MS Paint allows you to flip canvas or selection of a portion horizontally or vertically. You can find the option of flipping in the image group of home tab. To flip an image, the first step is to select the object using selection tool. Click on home tab. Now click on rotate option of image group. Select flip horizontal or flip vertical option to flip the entire canvas. If you want to flip a portion of your image, then select the portion of the canvas by using selection tool. Next, click on home tab and then click rotate option from image group. Now, click flip vertical or flip horizontal to flip the selection vertically or horizontally respectively. Now, let's use this tool in our example. Let us take our canvas of huts. See what happens if we flip the complete canvas vertically. Then we can try flipping complete canvas horizontally. This was for the entire canvas. Now try flipping a selection of canvas vertically. Similarly, we can flip a selection horizontally. Resize and skew. Resizing an image means increasing or decreasing the size of the canvas or a selection in the image. We can increase or decrease the size in terms of percentage or pixels. Generally, the size is 100%. A lower value than this will decrease the size and a greater value will increase the size of the canvas or a selection of image. Skew means tilting the image either vertically or horizontally. This is done in degree form. Resize and skew options are available in resize option of image group of home tab. To resize a canvas or portion of an image, first if you want to resize a portion of the image, select the portion of the image by select tool. 
Next, click on Resize option of Image Group in Home tab. Resize and Skew window will appear. Enter the required percentage for resize and skew values of the image in horizontal and vertical blank spaces to the right. It is optional to fill resize values or skew values. Click on OK button. The image will get resized and or skewed. Let us use these steps to resize and skew the canvas in our example drawing. Resizing the entire canvas to 50% horizontal and vertical. Skewing the entire canvas horizontally by 25 degrees. Similarly, we can skew the canvas vertically, resize a portion of the canvas and skew a portion of canvas horizontally or vertically. Saving your drawing in MS Paint. Once you have completed your drawing, you may want to save it for future. You will use Save option to save any image with a specific name. Follow these steps to save your drawing. Click on Paint button. A drop-down menu appears. Choose Save option. Save as window will appear. Choose the location where you want to save the image. Enter the file name. Finally, click on Save button. Your file will be saved with that name. Creating a new drawing. If you want to create a new drawing, start by clicking on the Paint button. The Paint menu will appear. Next, click on New option. A dialog box will appear asking if you want to save the changes made to the current drawing. Click on Save to save the drawing. Click on Don't save to discard the drawing and on Cancel to continue on the same drawing. A new blank canvas will appear. Now you can start with new drawing. Opening existing image. You can open an existing image that you have previously saved on Paint. To do so, click on the Paint button. The Paint menu will appear. Next, click on Open option. The Open dialog box will appear. Here, open the location of the image or drawing and select it. Finally, click on Open. The drawing will open in the canvas.